Godzilla. Trying to get closer to you, talking interactions that lead us to wetting pictures. Let me slow down, stop feeding you bullshit. Roll with the player, I'm on my own call shit. Be my sexy lady, better yet, be my other half. We went to school together years later. We are here today to discuss a brand new makeup collection. I was sent a couple of the products to review. <coughs> If you have any questions, as always, leave them in the bottom bar. I will do my best to either answer them or point you in the right direction in which you can find the answer yourself. So without further ado, let's get into Vintage by Jessica Lieberskind. So as I said, I received these products to review by PR. So I did not purchase them. They were sent to me to review. And typical packaging but within the packaging they came in this beautiful gift bag which I will be recycling as I said in the intro the name of the collection is vintage by Jessica Lieberskind here it is what you guys can see this is one of the products but that is the packaging very simple classic just as the name suggests vintage. so it's Jessica Lieberskind and I'll with her name here she is a product formulator developer and makeup artist the name of the product is vintage and it is a color cosmetics collection I'm reading so that's why I keep going down because I don't want to forget anything it just launched on January 1st via HSN so it can be found it was on HSN yesterday from 7 to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time it can now be found on HSN HSN.com as well as vintage cosmetics.com uh, if you want to follow the collection on social media on Instagram it is at vintage cosmetics on Facebook it is vintage by Jessica Lieberskind and I hope I'm saying her last name correctly it's either Lieberskind or Lieberskin and on Twitter it's at vintage makeup Jessica herself was a color consultant for Estee Lauder a product developer for Bobbi Brown and she was instrumental in helping create the Shimmer Brick Compact and the Longwear Gel Liner which if you are familiar with Bobbi Brown Cosmetics those are two of the like number one products like top selling products in the entire line so she knows her stuff she was a makeup artist for advertising editorial and runway for a number of brands including but not limited to Badgley Mishka, Gucci, and Jill Sander. And the number of her celeb clients, <clears throat> well, she has a number of celeb clients and a couple of them are Heidi Klum, Olivia Palermo, Bethany Frankel, and Nicole Miller. The line is described as one that will complement skin tone and not just match it. Pop your features and catch the light as you move and offer luxurious comfort and long wearing benefits. So, like I said, I received, let's see, four of the products. <clears throat> they range in price from $21 up to $35. So that's pretty comparable with most uh, major department store brands. So like I said, it was sent to me in this beautiful gift bag to match the actual packaging. I got a little card from my PR Connect and I received four products. So I'll just start with this one because it just so happened to be in my hand. This is the Brighten and Define Eyeshadow Palette and it retails for $24.00. And this is what it looks like. It has a mirror at the top. 
the color I received is Lace and Caviar. It is an eye brightener and you can use it alone or with your favorite eyeshadow. And then the liner, well, the caviar color that's described as the defining color is a liner. So not that much of a color payoff, but I would say it's buildable. My initial reaction is it's it's very soft but chalky but not the chalky that like if you touch it it kind of blows away it just feels it has a chalky feel to it but soft at the same time if that makes any sense it doesn't sound like it makes sense but that's how I'm describing it that I mean you could see it but you would have to build the color if you want it to be like a shocking white or whatever but you can see it so for $24 I mean if you want to get the entire set then I could see it but it there isn't anything that is making this a product to me that like you would just run out and get it's a staple like it's something that you would a lot of people have but don't really use so I would if it's somebody like you're getting it for them starting out okay but hmm, nothing really making it pop for me personally next product I have is the blush and brighten face palette and I have the shade pink coral and flamingo this I loved when I first saw. Nice big pan. Beautiful colors. I assume that this is pink coral and I assume that this is flamingo. I will swatch. Again, kind of chalky. I will try to build the color as much as I can for you guys. So that's pink coral. And then flamingo. Ooh. Flamingo didn't need much to pop. I will see if I can get some color going on my cheek for you. I'm using a Real Techniques uh, Duo Fiber Face Brush. And yeah, I'm just tapping. But I don't know if you can see it's like dusty. Oh, you can definitely see it. This is the what did I say? Pink coral. It's a pretty color. Let's do a little. Oh, that uh, flamingo color boy is not playing. Very pigmented. You have to be careful with this one because, see, I only took a little bit. You only need a little bit to get the color payoff, and you better blend because you'll be walking around looking like Jigsaw from Saw with two red dots on your face. No, red. Two pink <laughs> dots on your face. And that won't be cute. So that's what the color looks like. I needed that because I was looking like a pale face mess. <laughs> so that's how the color looks. I like it. This retails, did I say how much it retails for? $28 for the blush duo. We like that. That's cute. Try the eye brightener on myself. I don't know what you guys think. Did that brighten? So back to the lip product. It's a velvet lip crayon. It retails for $22. Uh, 
Um, this is the box that it comes in. And this is how it comes. It comes with the sharpener, which is awesome because I have a couple of these like type of products and you're like, which sharpener can fit it? I love the fact that she included the sharpener with it. So the color that I have is Candy Coral. I took the sharpener off. This is what it looks like without the sharpener. And this is what it looks like. It's like a little chubby stick. I will go ahead and try it on for you. Let me take this lip off. So here's the lip crayon in Candy Coral. It says it has a matte finish. It's not drying to the lip, which we like. Nice color payoff. I love a lip pencil, a lipstick pencil. <clears throat> I do not like the smell. I'm very big on smells of lip products. It could be a turn off or it could be very neutral where you don't notice it or it could be a pleasant smell. And this is, I can smell it and I don't want to smell it. And I should not be able to smell it because I'm getting over a cold. So the fact that the scent is kind of strong, it smells like a pencil. It's not as bad as that other lip product that I just reviewed, but I can smell it and I don't want to. But it feels very good on the lips. My lips might be a little dry. I apologize in advance. And it's very complimentary to the cheek palette that I was sent. So I like that. It is not, as a woman of color, I don't feel like it's a color that I cannot wear. I think it is wearable. <clears throat> so if I feel like if I can wear it, then it will be complimentary to persons that are lighter in tone to me and also persons that are deeper in skin tone to me. So I like that. Uh, like I said, it is $22. And again, the color is Candy Coral. And this is the Velvet Lip Crayon. Lastly, we have this sparkling lip gloss and it retails for $21. Same packaging as the lip crayon. And this is what it looks like. And the color is, the shade is papaya and I will apply it over the lip crayon. And also I will show it to you without anything. Initial reaction is, mm, it's light, but you can feel the glitter. I don't like to feel glitter particles in my lip gloss because my lips are very sensitive. So then after a while they start to like freak out. So let me try it without the lipstick, just to show you the color. I already know that I'm kind of not feeling it. I like the color. It has these pink and purple glitter particles, but it's just, I don't like that I can feel the glitter. So hold on. Okay, so wipe it off. This is the sheer coral with glitter. Love the color. Not a big fan of the texture. So all in all, I would give the line maybe a six and a half, seven out of 10, um, just for little nitpicky things. If you're interested, I will put the information following this along with some pictures and you can check the line out for yourself. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you soon with another video. Hope you enjoyed your New Year's Eve into the new year celebration and see you soon.